Motorcycle Club has taken on the challenge of providing support and comfort for children who have to testify in court against their abusers. The Guardians of the Children are volunteers and they have 50 chapters in 20 states. RTV6's Derek Thomas takes us inside their journey to Indiana. The courtroom can be an intimidating place when a child takes the witness stand. That's when the Guardians of the Children come in handy. I wanted to get out that there is help out there for the children like my granddaughter. Marilyn Reason's granddaughter was raped and had to testify against the man charged with that rape, her mother's boyfriend, 54-year-old Milton Triplett. The day of the trial, the Guardians of the Children were on the scene. They met us here at our door. They came on their motorcycles and escorted us to the courthouse, kept her surrounded by one on each side of her walking into the courthouse. One of those guardians is Terry Jackson. We can sit in the courtroom with them, so when they're actually giving their testimony, they can see us sitting in the audience. It makes them feel safe, secure, uh, and able to get their testimony out. And uh, the child's testimony is, is the key in a trial. Madison County Prosecutor Rodney Cummings was initially skeptical about the group, but not anymore. Having that support base, knowing those those guardians are here. Uh, I think it's been a very positive influence for the kids to feel comfortable to say what they need to say and tell the juries what, what actually happened. In the triplet case, he was convicted and sentenced to 105 years in prison for rape and being a habitual offender. The guardians are passionate about what they do. I have a full-time job in Anderson, and I do this on my spare time. It's almost as if it's another full-time job. It's how important? much I care, yes. These kids deserve justice. The Guardians of the Children are currently operating in Madison, Delaware, Grant, and Miami counties. They plan to expand. Derek Thomas, RTV6.